Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty chill video but I have a bunch of plants I want to work on and I want to take along. I have some propagations to work on. I actually want to propagate this cool Hoya Carrii that I bought this winter. It actually already gave me three new leaves and half a peduncle so this will be a risky move. But at the same time this is just going out of it's crazy guys just look at it this wine is going insane so right now i want to propagate it and have it as a bush for the summer so i'll work on that i also accidentally while taking off the dried leaf just broke a branch off my beautiful maranta cat's mustache so since i already have this like a branch and in about two or three days it's already giving me a lot of roots i feel like you know what oh what the heck let's get more branches let's cut more branches from this amaranta and propagate it and have once again a busher plant later on so I'll work on that maranta i also have hoya curtisii here on the shelf it's actually a little bit attached so i do not want to take it off the shelf but during this video i'll be cutting some of its branches and propagating it as well because right now it's actually going nuts it has so much I mean, I'm not sure if you can see, but it has a lot of branches on the very low side of it and the top is pretty much like bald, so I want to work on that as well. So take cuttings and later on plant those cuttings back with the mama plant and have a nice beautiful bush. I also want to repot some plants, for example, have this new spider plant that I actually bought for one of my favorite gardens but never used it. And this small pot is already too small for it. It dries out so quickly, I already can see some roots peeking, so you know what, I thought, oh what the heck, I'll give you a separate pot right now and later on if i decide to put it in some kind of fairy garden i will work work with that i also have philodendron bilitai that actually is in my home for about two years i would say and this one is actually from one of you i still have the label i think this one is from urash if i'm not wrong so from the first package of urash and it never leaves the stage of baby it still keeps on being juvenile and i think like the most obvious reason for that is because i never can keep up with watering it and since it's in terracotta pot it dries out so quickly it just always is underwatered so i want to work on that i want to repot it into something plastic and that way maybe have a little bit better success with it hopefully i also will add some nutritions into the soil renew the soil and hopefully that will boost a little bit of new growth and also i have a prop box over here that some cuttings will go into and since i have it in here i haven't opened it in about a couple of weeks almost i mean around two weeks so i want to see the progress of plants i have in here because i have so many different plants in here and i know it might be look like a little bit odd that i have this pro box with green lit i actually was doubtful myself but this winter i just had this like like real need to propagate my plants and i did not have anything with clear lit so i just went with it and you know what plants seem to be pretty okay with it i, I grow it in here my variegated monstera and stuff like that and they seem to be fine so i'm just going with it more further anyway <laughs> so this is the plan for today's video i think it's already a mumbly one so you know what let's just probably jump into it and do it and go with the flow once again once again go with the flow so probably i want to start with my hoya carrier because it's just really in the way and i mean this is such a beautiful plant i bought it in big box store for it for i think about seven euros so about eight bucks and this is beautiful i actually got it when i'm afraid to break it when it was about that size and this was like and there was this long runner without any leaves and this two leaves grew in my care that i'm so proud of because they grew during the winter and it was just standing here on my north window without any grow lights it was just kicking flipping nuts on its own and i'm so proud and since it's so happy in my care this newest leaf looks like it's almost almost like you know mature right now i think it's time to propagate it and i have so many cool aerial roots oh so many awesome aerial roots on this branch and can you see a peduncle over here peduncle this is insane so i know i am risking to lose the peduncle but at the same time i'm i'm doing it i'm still flipping doing it okay so before cutting it probably let's open the pro box see if i have space in there first of all and then then do the business actually i would pro okay actually my 
first idea was to put it in my other pro box that is with clear lid and has a grow light next to it and it's just like having the coolest plants inside ever but i just noticed that i have spider mites in it so <laughs> this is fun um i'm freaking out inside i'm trying not to show it but there is my hoya svetlana hoya kalimantan my cool monochro philodendron melanocrysum variegated syngoniums and cool stuff like that and I don't want to say anything because probably I'll need to bleep it. So, you get the idea, right? And then I have this pro box. It's actually a little bit abandoned from my side, but at the same time, pl plants in here are growing. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is exciting. Actually, I did not expect it to be so, so happy right now. I mean, the plants inside. I have in here many different plants. I have a begonia. I flipping knew this is going to happen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. You know what? I see the space in here. So probably let's first cut this Hoya and then we will go into, into there. Okay. 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 So since I have such a long space between the nodes, I will cut just as low as possible. And I'm not sure if I will keep the whole branch, but I will show you in the process. So let's probably start from the very, very top, I think. Okay, I love how woody this plant is. This is insane. Oh, it's gonna leak. Okay, it, it's okay. So first cutting looks like so. Long branch, it's already half picking some aerial roots. So this is awesome. I wanna put it aside right now so it can leak a little bit on my table. Perfect. Oh, it has lots of milk. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to be careful because it's most likely toxic to dogs. Both of my dogs are napping right now. I have a napkin, it's used, so please don't look. I don't wanna take that droplet. Okay, please don't look at my used napkin. <laughs> it's winter season in here, okay? <laughs> All right, so right now I wanna cut it way below over here. Okay, finally it can stand on its own. And this, this is definitely way too crazy. Just look at it, look at this peduncle. Can you see it? Little tiny peduncle over here. Little tiny peduncle. So what I want to do, I want to cut a little bit more off of it because I don't think I need this long stem. Plus it will be a little bit difficult to pot it up into the pot because it just... It's like a palm actually. It's kind of cool. Still gonna cut it a little bit. Yes, yes, we're still gonna do it. Okay. All right, so this branch doesn't have any notes, so I'll just throw it away because nothing will happen out of it. And this is how the cutting number two is looking. Look at it, amazing, so cute. Okay, I wanna put it aside once again. And I wanna cut one more, you know? Because why not? Since we're going for it, we're going for it. Oh my gosh, oh, it's leaking. Cutting number two. This one doesn't have any aerial roots, unfortunately. Mm, I think I'll cut off a little bit of that branch as well. Oh my gosh. You're very milky, Hoya. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Cutting number, number two. Oh my gosh, a little bit of sun. I missed it. Yeah. Right, so I have three beautiful cuttings of this Hoya carrii. And the mama plant, I think. Is there a sap? Okay, so here is how the mama plant looks right now. Still flipping cool, still bush. You have lots of beautiful leaves. Hopefully soon I will see some potential, like picking out new branches. It's gonna be great. Mama plant, let's leave it. Put it somewhere away from me because I'll once again do something with it. All right, so right now let's get back into... Ooh. Wow, this app actually is becoming a mozzarella consistency. This is weird. Okay, so I have this pro box and the newest plant in here is actually my philodendron verocosum that I propagated about one and a half weeks ago. About a week ago, maybe. So I haven't opened this box for about a week. Yes, something like that. And you know what? I thought, you know what? This pro box doesn't have any grow lights. And right now we do not receive a lot of sunlight here because it's still March and it's kind of full on winter here. Actually snow melted a couple of days ago, but you get the idea, right? But you know what? I see that three out of five 
Where my varicosum cuttings is actually growing. New growth points. One is rotten, the top cutting. So we'll take that out. It's dead. So this is dead. Okay, this one. <gasps> Let's have a root, okay. <gasps> and we have a top, okay. The rest of these ones are growing. Here is one. Huh? Do you see that green top and that little tiny root? I don't want to show you this tiny root. Do you see it? Ha! See? Ha! Huh? This is cute. Okay, let's put you back. I'm sorry. Sorry for disturbing you. Oh my gosh. Please don't be mad. Bam. We have another middle, so all of the middle cuttings seem to be fine and growing roots and tops. The, the top cutting is the one that I lost. Look at it, another root, another beautiful green point. <sighs> this is so exciting. This is so fun. Okay, another one, once again, half an aerial root and a green top. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, right? Number three and number four <sighs> doing the same thing. This one have the smallest growth point and the smallest root, but as you can tell, it's still holding on. So, okay, this is flipping amazing. I actually, okay, let me put this here back. Working on my nerves. Okay, so I have this uh, begonia amphi, amphi something, the alien begonia. This one is that, and it was actually. A water cutting it's been uh, in water for in my collection for about half a year and then it started to drop the leaves and you know what I thought maybe let's start le maybe let's try to propagate it so I immediately put it in this box so I won't forget it and it looks sad so you know what I think I'm gonna cut some branches off and once again put them in water and see what happens and the bottom ones I will leave in this prop box Hopefully they will bounce back because this is a cool hoya. I probably should clear the shears with my used napkin. Guys, don't do what I do, okay? Just enjoy the circus over here. <laughs> mm, don't mind me doing nonsense. Look at this beautiful foliage. Oh my gosh. I really do hope I'll manage to save it because this is flipping cool begonia. Okay. And the rest I will leave as it is. So let's put it to the side over here somehow. Okay. I also, oh, finally, flipping, finally. I have a Raphidophore tetrasperma uh, cutting. Let's take final. It, it gave me a root after eight months of propagating. This is what I have. That's it. That's pathetic, if you ask me have some melanocrysum cuttings that are looking so cute and adorable put your side we don't need you right now so i have more okay we have something dead no idea what it is but we don't need that anymore if, if it's dead i have zz leaf that is growing tiny potato right now which is so cool okay i have a Ooh. wait 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 your name Philodendron fuzzy petiole, I think. I think. Look at it. these ones are definitely ready to be planted. Oh, soon I'm gonna plant these. So, okay, I won't be disturbing more of these plants. So you get the idea. I have this Hoya that I only rem remember the racist name. So I'm really sorry that I'm gonna say it, but I will pronounce the real name on the screen. So just know that I'm so sorry. I don't have any like bad. Mm, I probably won't say it, but it's a very splash beautiful Hoya, okay? I forgot the scientific name of it, but it's actually doing great. So soon I'm gonna pot it up as well. I also have Hoya Linearis in here and stuff like that. Anyway, anyway, so let me put it aside and let's get into more propagating because, sorry, I just got really excited about all of these updates and I'm just like, ooh, okay, 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 so let's First off, put the big Hoya, the big mama, and then we will work for the rest. So I'm just putting them on the very top layer. I mean, I forgot to take, I mean, I have the rooting hormone right over here. Okay, I'll put it in here and then I'll sprinkle on top. Yes, yes, sounds like a fluid plan. Okay, let me do this, this, have one more. 
four, five, four. Ah, gorgeous, beautiful. Look at it. This pro box once again is just full. Okay, you know what? Before I forget, I want to ask you a serious question. So since I don't have many people here that are new on my channel, most of you probably are aware that I have a German Shepherd that have problem with his elbows, with his joints, and we have been buying him a pretty expensive vitamins and giving him daily. So they're pretty expensive here in Lithuania, but we found, I mean, my fiance found on the internet that overseas, very same vitamins are actually cheaper. So I wanted to ask, maybe some of you are buying these vitamins to your pets. Maybe you know where to buy them a little bit cheaper. So these are the vitamins we're using, we're giving for Yakari Glycoflex, right? The orange ones. And they are so flipping expensive. They're about 100 euros here for one bottle and this lasts us about two months so it's pricey so maybe somebody know where to get them a little bit cheaper because we need those vitamins for the rest of the life of yakari so you know it's like an investment for us of course but at the same time we want to save up a little bit because we'll buy them non-stop so at the same time we think why to maybe buy a bulk so it will be a little bit cheaper so if you have any suggestions where to get them a little bit cheaper please let us know because Heckin expensive guys, I do not get so cool vitamins to myself, so you get the idea, right? Actually, I just finished the paint the pot, do you want to see it? I think I filmed a little bit of the process, and here is my newest design. Oh, look at this cool gecko. So, lady that was ordering it said, okay, I have this gecko, I think his name is Chilamander, I'm sorry if it's not, but I think it is, it's the coolest name ever. And it's a nice leopard gecko that is so cute. I love their tails. They look like croissants, right? So she said, I want him. I want some blue, beautiful colors like uh, tur turquoise and stuff like that. And I also love succulents. I was like, say no more. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's cute, right? <laughs> and she also said, you know what? I want to order another pot from you. And I was like, okay, what's the design idea? And she was like, you know, I like ducks. I like simple white ducks. I also like space. I also like rich stuff. I also like astrology and blue colors. And I was like, gotcha. <laughs> So you know what is the, the idea actually after filming this video, editing this video and uploading this video and working my like eight to five, right now it's my lunch break. So after finishing all of that business throughout the day, in the evening I'll be painting that one. And the idea is to paint a space like, you know, beautiful dark blue sky with, with stars and a duck flying as an astronaut with a scarf and like this, with the costume of astronaut. What do you think? I think this is genius. I think this is like combining most of these things that she wants in one and this is like flipping hilarious. What do you think? Anyway, okay. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, right now let's get to another propagating. Since I have this beautiful Moranta cat's mustache, I mean, look at all those roots. They grew in about two days, two or three days. Isn't that insane? It's flipping insane, guys. So. I want to propagate more since I already have this branch. Oh, what the heck? I thought I will work on this Morant right now. Because right now, after winter, it doesn't look the best. It gave me a bunch of new leaves, but they're pretty much smaller than the, you know, the ones that I bought it with. So, you know what? I'm going to propagate it and give it more chance to be beautiful. Because, once again, on the very top, it's bald. It's not looking great. I mean, I myself am balding from all of the stress as well, and this is not beautiful, so I do not want to have bald plants too. I have too much baldness in my life already, okay? So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut a little bit, like a couple, maybe, maybe not a couple. Yeah, one cutting. Look at it, how cute is this? I love the color of this Maranta. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. One more. What no? You know what? That that's okay because I only have two branches in here and already cut both tops of this one, so I have one extra top that I wanna leave. So <laughs> I guess that's about it. And since I have this dish, I'm gonna put my beautiful begonias. 
think they're called amphi amphi something like amphibious amphi amphi something amphiomyoinus i'll put it on the screen of course so i'm gonna put them so they're gonna be friends they're roommates roommates in this glass dish that i thrifted gorgeous all right look at this beautiful mix cute okay done with that right right now i actually am going to report and then we will go i will take the camera and we will move to this space and i will put the same cuttings into the same box and sprinkle them with the same hormone rooting hormone that i was talking about <sighs> i put the soil far away oh my gosh the problems with small spaces all right all right dang it okay i'm gonna move it Aya. okay so i have once again the a uh, pot that I did not clean because I'm a horrible plant lady. Yep, st still dirty. It's gonna be okay. So I have one clear pot for the billet eye because I want to see the roots. I also have this cool dish from the candle that I just cleaned from the inside. And since it doesn't have any drainage hole, I'll put this one. It's not perfect, but... It's like the best I could find, the best fit I could find, and it will go with the spider plant. Look at this, isn't that the beautiful, perfect combination? Of course it is, like, oh, it is, it is, okay. Little bit of cactus mix. I already mentioned in my previous video that this is the least cactus mix that could be because it has lots of This is awkward. <laughs> um, this is really water keeping substrate. So it's not like, you know, great for drain draining the water out of the root system. What is English? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, complete professional sitting over here. A little bit of an artifact. It has some coconut husk in here has a bunch of nice chunks of the wood orchid box and it also has a little bit of the <laughs> what the heck wow my mind is just blank you know that black thing that is great for I only know it in, in Lithuanian. In Lithuanian we call it Aktivoi Anglis. In Russian we call it Ugal. And in English we call it Charcoal. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, sometimes my brain goes through all of the languages I have in my brain until I find the right words for that. So, sorry. Sorry about that. So sorry. I actually want to add a little bit more of cactus mix. I also wanted to add some pearlite that for some reason i left in my balcony so i guess we're not adding the pearlite to this mix and lastly i have the school organic vegan um <laughs> fertilizer oh my gosh this is so awkward it's gonna be so difficult to <laughs> edit this video because there will be so many blank spaces <laughs> Anyway, so I have this cool fertilizer that I will add to the soil. Not too much. I think for this amount of soil, that's enough. And this will boost, hopefully, my plants to finally grow and be happy and feel the spring because it's just around the corner. So let's start probably with the spider plant since it's a little bit smaller. You know what? I want that to add that husk in the bottom. Yeah, found you. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, just perfect. So I added a little bit of soil at the very bottom, right? Let's take this bad boy out. See what we're working with. Oh, actually, it's not that that rooted that I expected it to be. So that's cool. I mean, we can see some roots on the side and some chunky ones at the bottom i won't be moving any of the soil i will just take off the very top layer of it because the rest of it seems to be completely nice and fine i'll take out this eden collection bambino stick 
because I don't need it. And we'll just pop it in here. Oh, perfect, perfect. I have about an inch from each side of the pot, so I think it's like the most perfect size for this plant. Because um, I tend, honestly, I tend to overwater my spider plant, so this will be an interesting experiment. It's actually already is a miracle that it's still alive after about three or four weeks in my home, so this is already you know breaking all of the rules in my home so that's cool okay so while i'm planting the spider plant i actually have some updates on yakari we actually talked to three more doctors after that last time you saw me you know almost crying about yakari and for now we every single doctor gives us a very different like diagnosis so this is really difficult for us you know to work with because all of them have some you know different ideas about him so like what they all can agree on that Ryakari is still not in big pain right now so he's kind of okay so as for now we won't do any surgeries but we need to keep an eye on him we need after every single walk to give him cold compresses on his elbows because they get swollen a little bit and yeah, it's a lot of work actually. It's not just, you know, simple casual dog that you go for a walk for five minutes and just bring back up to the couch. It's a lot of work and a lot of, you know, medicine and stuff like that, but <sighs> he's fine. He's not that bad as we thought. The first doctor actually haven't seen his x-rays before, so he had no idea that he is already in that state of you know his elbows are already in that state so that's why he freaked out and freaked us out so that's like the main update probably he's doing kind of okay we still are going through the doctors but as for now it's not as bad as we thought so you know okay look at it perfect oh my gosh this is the per the most perfect size i think yeah Okay, it's so cute. Can't wait for all of these beautiful leaves to grow a little bit longer and hide this part because I think this will happen sooner or later, right? This will look gorgeous. And I mean, the last one to report is my beautiful Billetai. Then we'll go to the Hoya Corticiae. So let me take this label out. Okay, so I watered this Billetai two days ago and it's already bone dry. Oh my gosh. And what I'll just move aside the new soil and this is where I will put the old one yeah yep this is so dry already oh my gosh I watered it two days ago okay the root system is very small but that's fine you know what I think right now everything will be so much better this is how it looks right now the root system the baby himself right so i will plant you in beautiful nice soil you're gonna be such a happy i wanted to see puppy <laughs> you're gonna be great you're gonna be great we're working on you baby hold it like so you know what is so exciting guys you know what actually i just talked with wild fern I mean, yesterday I DM'd her and she said that she finally received, not received notification that my pot arrived so soon. I mean, I still, I don't want to be annoying and just write here. So what do you think? How is it? You know? So I'm trying to stay out of her way and just wait until she writes, you know, me herself. But I'm just freaking out. I'm just checking my phone every like hour just for the maybe a message or something because I really hope she loves it. I actually went a little bit extra mile and added some vegan Lithuanian snacks like gummies and Lithuanian tea to her because I know she likes tea and tries not to drink coffee right now. And I'm such a fan girl, so maybe that's a bit much. But I asked her and she said, yeah, sure, add something. So I did and I'm just freaking out. I'm freaking flipping out. So come on, wait, guys. I'm just, I'm just freaking out. I hope she loves it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at it. What a beautiful baby. Definitely a baby, guys. <laughs> Look at the size. Oh my gosh. Two years. Two years in making. Anyway, so this is... 
Then let's go to the Cortesia, right? So I will move this. Oh. Okay, so let me somehow put you closer. Let's cut that Cortesia and then we'll say our goodbyes. Oh, all right, so it's not like the lightest time of the day right now because it's cloud outside but here is the cortice that we want to propagate as you can tell the top is pretty much um let's ignore this dying fairy garden <laughs> i'm gonna work on that really quick really soon so right now it just stays here like a zombie so let's ignore that here is as you can tell on the very top pretty much bald so i want to propagate it because if you look close enough it just goes wild down there. Oh, so we're gonna propagate it right now. Not sure where to put you guys because I just have a bunch of random stuff in here in the bottom. So let me give it a shot. Here are you guys. Please ignore my very hairy pants. I just cuddled with puppies. So, okay. As you can tell, I have a branch over here and right now it just gives me runners filled with roots. So I'm just gonna cut it off and put it closer to the camera so then i will so then i can cut it in pieces and show you okay let's probably yeah. all right okay okay yeah all right here is the cutting that i took oh it's already leaking as well cutting number one pretty decent cutting right and then let's see if i want to add another one this one is pretty fresh as well because I can see the color is a little bit more light than the others. <laughs> or do I want to leave it as it is right now? Now what actually looks a bit awkward. So maybe let me cut a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, one more. Right. Oh, right. Beautiful. Okay, so let me put you right now on the table. This is all of the this is actually all that i'm gonna cut right now so okay another side all right so i'm gonna cut it and put it directly into the pro box i already showed you right so since i have a pretty decent amount of these cuttings oh my gosh this one was working on baby leaves oh right now i'm sad that i cut it oh no i mean okay this way it is so i wanna cut like you know what i'm gonna do like double note cuttings once again so one like this they're so cute i love those small baby leaves putting them directly okay this one I actually have three notes right now so okay one is going to be singular i mean this one is singular right oh my gosh they're leaking all over my hands this is not ideal of course it's okay Right. so in here since i have a lot of space between the notes i will take singular note cuttings so bam gorgeous oh my gosh i love these plants they're so cute i actually really want hoya matilde right now because i just in love whenever i see them on the internet from other people because they're just so adorable just cannot for example, wild ferns, Hoya Matilde is so cute. Oh my gosh, just thinking about it. I'm so, so, so happy for her. Okay, so just going for it as always. It's actually so fun to sometimes notice comments from you guys saying like, oh my gosh, you cannot believe how just without even thinking, just go ahead and cut this leaves so. <laughs> off. Okay. Bam. I'm just adding them into here. Some singular note cuttings, some double note cuttings. So we'll have a better chance of different, very different pins. Okay. All right, and right now I have this like awkward branch one two three four five notes you know what i'm just gonna put it as this in here as well who knows maybe it will do something because they have like a bunch of aerial roots 
and that's about it so this is how my prop box looks right now it's a bit crazy <laughs> but i'm actually happy how it looks like once again i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of rooting hormone and i won't close it yet i want this uh, white sap to dry out as you can tell on my hoi carrier it's already dry out pretty much so i'm just going to give it about an hour then i'll sprinkle the rooting hormone and close it up and just close my fingers <laughs> Really guys, all this flipping video long, I had a red lipstick on my teeth and nobody said a thing. I just cannot look into the footage right now as I am editing it. Oh my gosh, whole video long guys, whole video long. Let's ignore that. But I cannot, but you have to ignore that right now as I said it. Probably won't. Right now all you will do just watching my red teeth. Not, not, anyway. Enjoy watching this. So this will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this laid back chill prop with me, report with me and just hang out with me and chat about life and stuff and plants and dogs and just everything. <laughs> so let me know how do you feel about today's video. Let's chat in the comments what I think that they did a good job. Maybe you are propagating something and have any tips or maybe you're very excited about something. Let's just share some you know, happy thoughts in the comments. Please like this video if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more plenty content that is upcoming your way, of course. And right now, before leaving, of course, let me teach you another language lesson. And you know what? I thought I already taught you how to say an, uh, a charcoal, right? But you know what? I'm going to treat you and let me tell you another language lesson. <laughs> so since I was talking about ducks, let me teach you how to say duck in Lithuanian and Russian. For funsies. <laughs> so you want to say duck in Lithuanian, you need to say antis. Once again, Antis. We actually have a music group that is called Duck. <laughs> cool, right? Anyway, and if you want to say Duck in Russian, you need to say Utka. Once again, Utka. Another fun fact. People, I mean, Russian people call Utka not only the bird duck. They also call it this dish that, that males are peeing in in the hospitals too when they cannot go to the toilet fun fact <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys and hopefully i'll see you in my next one